So this is the Go Mode Podcast Mentor Tournament uh, for 2022. Uh, this is round one, match one uh, in this tempered sword bracket uh, between myself, Sorcerer Finch, and a Rabid Wombat 85. Uh, this is uh, a best of three match. Um, this is match one. So uh, whoever wins two first moves on to the next round. Uh, the other person is out. I said tempered sword bracket, um, and that is because for the past seven weeks, uh, we had six uh, different matches, kind of everyone in the mentor tournament, all 64 racers. Um, everyone is either like a beginner, like brand new to Link to the Past randomizer, or uh, or not very experienced, or has some things to learn. Uh, I fall under that camp. Um, so week one... Uh, actually, weeks one through six, we were actually all paired up with a mentor um, that we could kind of change, switch out kind of who. Um, and then um, basically everyone who is O and O were paired off against someone else who is O and O. Someone wins, someone loses. Uh, week two, everyone who is one and O got paired off against someone who was also one and O. Uh, and the same with O and one. Um, and then the following week, everyone who was 2-0 was paired off against someone else's 2-0, 1-1 against 1-1, 0-2 against 0-2, and, and so on and so forth until we got basically four different, uh, the top 16, uh, were placed into the gold sword bracket. Uh, the next 16 in the tempered sword bracket, um, cause like someone, someone ends up 6-0, like a couple people end up 5-1, more people 4-2, 3-3, etc. Uh, we are in the Tempered Sword bracket, which is the second uh, bracket kind of level. Um, and we are racing against a Rabid Wombat, 85. Um, I believe we're... Uh, it's either... I think a Rabid Wombat is either 3-3 three and three and 4-2. and two. Uh, We did end 3-3. Three and three. Um, I think we're one of the higher-ups for the 3-3 three and three just because of the quality of opponents that we had. Um, of the people that we lost to... Um, two of them are in the gold sword bracket and one of them um, is actually also in the temperature sword bracket uh, we are just waiting right now for uh, my, oppo my opponent is just waiting for race time uh, our, the platform that we're using uh, to say that hey you're live um, <clears throat> so we will be starting uh, momentarily alright and the race will begin in 30 seconds let me go ahead and get background input <clears throat> going. So we're going to start out with a weapon of some kind. We don't know what kind of weapon. Uh, don't know what kind of weapon. We'll see kind of once Uncle gets it to us. Um, but we will begin in 10 seconds. Good luck uh, to my opponent as well, Rapid Wombat. And let's get rolling in three, two, one. Let's jam. I have a long, full life ahead. All right. If Uncle... So, fun fact. If Uncle is carrying a sword there... All right, I'll take the extra heart. If Uncle carries a sword there, then he will be giving you a sword um, up here. That is not the case tonight, however. <clears throat> so our goal will be to try to finish the escape sequence in uh, around six minutes. It might take longer. It might take might take longer might take uh shorter we'll just kind of see uh we'll, we'll kind of see how things shake out and uncle gives us the hammer uh which is a actually a really nice item um it can make things a little hairier uh for this early game all right arrows not as important all right Guards are on the magic drop, so they are not going to be uh, giving us bombs. Yep. Just want to double check there. One of the first things that we will want to try to prioritize is try to see if there's an I if there's an enemy that will drop bombs for us. Uh, if we get bombs, we will be able to. Um, complete the uh, dungeon in one go. Otherwise, we might have to come back. 
Uh, we actually did have one race where that was required. You get the flute. Uh, that's a nice opening item. All right. There are a good number of items in Escape. Um, and having a standard start, we are going to be guaranteed to um, get almost all the items. But again, it really depends on kind of how things go from here. All right. All right. Ooh, actually, hold on. If that's a rupee, that I might be off on my uh, prize pack. Uh, single rupee, we're not going to pick up though. It's uh, nothing to write home about. Um, I think we are going to go ahead and just attack the ball and chain guard though. Uh, with hammer, I think it's just two hits that we'll need. Worst comes to worst, we retreat, get some, get some pots. All right, there we go. See? Just like that. All right, map. Not, it's not great. Um, it's not great just because it's going to mean that there's going to be an item. There's going to be uh, items kind of the rest of the way. There's only one more. There's two more chests that we can get. Um... There are two more chests that we can get. Um, currently. If bombs are in the next chest, if bombs are only in the next chest, we're going to be able to get the other three items um, in the back. Required to have those bombs, though. Um, actually, bombs or boots. I'll take boots. I'll take early boots. I'm good with early boots. Um, after this, we are going to go into Kakariko Village. Now I say, just walk. Don't worry about the guards. Um, we are probably looking at about a six-minute escape. We are looking at a sub-six-minute escape. Um, but I think a lot of that does have to do with us not being able to get the, the back. Um, so that is, that is the concern. All right, let's go ahead and push... Push this aside and through. Yeah, yeah, we do want to. We, we will go ahead and kind of grab those. Uh, we do also need to check the rats as well. We got a bomb. We're good. Okay, so it wasn't the magic prize pack. It was the. Um, it was the, it was basically a potpourri prize pack. Uh, but that does mean we get to, we get, we do get to finish. Um. All right. Yeah, let's, we'll keep on flute for right now. Oh, nope. Shoot. It got away. I messed it up. I messed it up. I wanted I, I, I switched away and then just messed up. So that's gonna cost us time. Alright. No, nothing there. Heal up. We do get the fighter sword. We do get bombs for Kakariko Village as well. Perfect. We don't have any money. So yeah, we are gonna have a sub. Or we are gonna finish an over. My goodness, we're just getting knocked around by the bat and the rat. Okay, we don't need magic. All right. Uh, considering we had to do a little bit of farming, uh, I'm okay with the 613 escape. Not ideal, but hey, we got all the items, and this is going to be an item as well. 20 bucks. All right, let's get our first bit of information. Crystal, crystal, crystal. All right, uh, that's actually kind of ideal. 
All right, let's kind of do our regular. Uh, we're going to go and kind of check up here first. Uh, we do want to save all of our bombs if we can. Check the tree pool. Uh, tree pool is nothing to write home about. Uh, we do have a sword, so we can do that. Check bush crab. 20 bucks isn't going to do it. All right, and let's see. Do we need to defeat Aghanim? Oh, no. Um, I'm glad we checked. That was the Cana Samaria. Cana Samaria is likely required. Very likely required. So, uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep that in mind. All right, single rupee. We'll skip. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get here. Power glove. We'll take. Um, so that is all we need is a moon pearl, and we've got dark world access. Um, it's pretty early for dark world access, but. I'll take it. All right. So dark world, but yeah, early dark world access could lead us into some rough routing. Uh, just kind of depending on things. But we are in Kakariko Village at the 8 minute 16 second mark. So yeah, and we've got a lot of checks available here. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and kind of rock this. All right, good money. Uh, that will be enough, fortunately. Ooh, powder. Uh, that's going to open up Magic Bat. And we got magic this time, so we're not going to skip it like we accidentally did uh, previously. All right, good. We got a lot of money. Because uh, we're probably going to be purchasing bombs um, as well um, after Chicken Hut. Um, just in case of race game. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have our I think we've got our early game route. Our early game route's gonna be pretty uh, straightforward. More money, excellent. I will skip out on the uh, not there cape. Cape is great safety. Uh, cape is fantastic safety. Um, especially kind of against, uh, if we do end up kind of going into the dark world. All right. Get the master sword. Okay. All right. And with that, the duck is among the gooses loose. The fowl is on the prowl. Alright, let's continue. We'll just go from this way. Uh, and yeah, we are going to purchase bombs before heading out. We do have powder, uh, which is good. And we got the mirror. Um, so that is a lot of mountain access now. It just opened up. Maybe we go there first. Let's buy bombs. Kind of making our way, making our way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Oh, we are actually, as a note, we are one item away from um, Aghanim, being able to defeat Aghanim. Uh, we are just short on uh, the lamp. Don't forget the lamp, it's in logic. Uh, let's go ahead and make this check here while we are passing through. Because uh, we can, can, can. Uh, Master Sword early, though. Yeah, I. this is... this is. I mean, it, it's almost... It is almost guaranteed to be an Aga Seed, so... Uh, which means that we climb Castle Tower, we defeat Aghanim. Alright, and just a piece of heart. 
All right, so nothing really to write home about there. All right. Now let's go ahead and continue. Uh, we're going to get the flute out. Uh, we're going to be doing two... Uh, scouting for two different items real he uh, real quick here. Uh, we're going to check what's in library. We might be able to just skip it entirely. Then I think we do fly to South Shore. Alright, piece of heart there. Don't really care about that. And let's see. Do we... Yep, we fly away. All right, yeah, let's do let's do South Shore first. Uh, we do not. Oh, we do have we do have the mirror, so we can just uh, delete blocks like that. It's very handy, very handy. <clears throat> Actually, it should have filled up on hearts. Although we didn't know that we'd get uh, Master Sword by the time. Got that. Uh, we'll skip out on money. We'll skip it on those 20 bucks. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, mini Moldorm Cave. There we go. Totally first try. All right, that should be enough for the heart refill. There's the Titan's Mitts. Um, that opens up a bit of the Meyer area. It's gonna be some some bunny walking, but that's uh, that's fun. Uh, we are gonna fly to Ice Rod Cave. Take that iframe so we can just run straight up against that uh, that one enemy. And if the crabs want to just pay me no attention, I'm okay with this. Boom. All right. All right. After this, we fly to the mountain. A little bit of money. Okay. Nothing to write home about. Uh, it's not worth doing water checks quite yet. Okay, that felt kind of good. All right, we do not have the lamp. So this particular check that we're doing right now is out of logic. This particular one is out of logic. There we go. Wait till the screen transition. Wait till the light to come back. Once we start going down, there we go. There we go. And we're out. Good. Uh, so that is out of logic because we don't have the uh, lamp. Lamp is required to be able to do that. But as we just showed, not a big deal. That that one is a pretty easy dark room to kind of get through, uh, especially once you know where you're going. Um, Hera, it might be clearable. Now, we might get locked out of Hera. We would not be able to cheat in Hera. Uh, bottle is good. Bottle, we will pick that up. Arrows, we will not. All right, let's go ahead and here, do our final map check. All right, so. All right, so with that, we are going to need the Cana Samaria. It will be 100% required. Um, if anything, for Turtle Rock, could be also required for uh, Ganon's Tower, but 100% for absolutely 100%, uh, it's going to be required for that. So, 
Let's go ahead and see if we can do Hera while we're here. We will be able to complete Hera. Now, we might leave an item behind, however. Uh, we've got... Uh, not ideal. We'll go ahead and complete it, though, and get a crystal. Um, at least knock out one of the crystals. There we go. Grab the heart there. We're still good on bombs. Uh, there are two. There are bombs right there that we could have uh, picked up. Just kind of in a pinch. Not really needed though. Just pop that. So in these next three checks that we will be making, uh, we are going to be looking for the remaining remaining items. There's item number one. Um. That's, I mean, it's not a good item, but it's at least item number one. All right, let's hit that. All right, let's go ahead and check for item number two. Big Chest has the ice rod. That is item number two. Um, that is excellent news. Um, what we just confirmed is that the... Base, Hera Basement is either going to have the key, or it's either going to have the map or the compass, uh, and Moldorm, it's, uh, Moldorm themselves will only have either the map or compass. So, this was the right, this was the correct decision. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wanna do like that? That is why I, I popped those just in case. Just in case Moldarm wanted to be a bully. Uh, we are gonna beat Moldarm at about the uh, 20 minute mark, probably. A little under 20 minutes. Oh, this isn't going swimmingly. I mean, the good news is, again, we can heal up for a bit, but this is not our best Moldorm. Yep. All right, one down. Moldorm. Moldorm. What are you doing, bud? Um, what's really kind of frustrating as well is uh, every time we fall, it restarts the fight. This is not ideal. This is... Okay, Moldorm. Why are you coming in from that angle? It's very, very unkind. Very unkind, Moldorm. By 20 minutes, I thought that I was going to be way overestimating, but I'm losing a lot of time here. Time that we might not have. It, it, it got done. We did it. We did it. It took... An extra, like, two minutes, though. Uh, that's not ideal. But we did it. That is crystal number one at the 21-minute mark. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and do... Um, yeah, we can do Super Bunny Cave, actually. I don't know if we do Super Bunny Cave. Maybe we do. I think, we, I think we'll try to do Super Bunny Cave. Um, technically out of logic without the Moon Pearl. But also, Moon Pearl could be, like, coming up. Not to say that it can't. Ah, uh, walking. Alright, we 
we can just skip that one. There we go. <clears throat> All right, after this, we climb Paradox Cave. There's the Moon Pearl. So now everything, now everything in Mountain is uh, logic. I think we go ahead and uh, we'll climb up from this way. But yeah, having this does make things a lot, a lot easier. All right. All right, so right light. There we go. All right, and that does actually open up uh, Dark World access as well for us. So we've got a couple, we've got options basically. There's the book. Okay, for better or for worse, the, the world is really open, opening up. Um, all we need is a... F if we can get a fire source... Um, if we can get a fire source, I think that's going to be fantastic. Alright, next up is Super Bunny Cave. Uh, we also do need to check what is on... On our way over to, on our way up, uh, we are going to go ahead and um, check out. Uh, we got a couple of things actually we need to check out while we're still up on the mountain. Okay, that's okay. There's the boots. All right, so that's great. Uh, that, we still need a lamp. We still need a lamp, but yeah, there is so much in the world we can check right now. All right, uh, well, I think we might actually go and pick that up. All right, just for posterity's sake, let's check out what is required. Our ether medallion will be what is required for that. Uh, yeah, let's pick that up. It'll be a minute out of the way. Not ideal. But, um, but if it means that we don't die, if it means that we don't die, that's the, that's the big thing. Okay, from here. That's okay. All right, and before we climb down the mountain, very important, very important couple things. All right. We got the cape, we've got, we've got hearts. All right, just a piece of heart there. All right. All right. Let's try to see if we can scrounge up. Perfect. All right. Let's just go ahead and dash through. This is the magic of half magic. Okay, maybe not bonk there. And that will be Turtle Rock access once we get the Cane of Samaria. But yeah, that's why... Um, that's why we wanted to do that. Uh, let's next... Where do we want to go? Uh... We still can't do any 
crystal dungeons. Um, but I think we go Hype Cave around... Um... There we go. We actually outran the uh, the spear there. And Bombo. So we'll be able to get into any of the medallion locked uh, dungeons. Uh, not a whole lot there, though. Swamp's going to be required. We cannot complete it at this point. Okay, this is going to be a little silly, uh, this route that I'm taking. It's going to be a little odd. Um, I just want to check the this here real quick. Just in case. Um, okay, let's... Go ahead and fly to, um, let's fly to three. Because there's a lot of items now that we can get in here. All right, check sick kid. Pod is pendant pod. Um, let's start going Skullwood. Uh, let's start with the Skullwood side. Skullwoods, if we can scrounge up the, the Fire Rod early, then... And I'll be... Oh, let's grab that actually real quick. All right. Well, I mean, plus side, if we die. Let's just bombos, bombos. I probably wanted to wait until I had a little bit more health, but... Okay, that'll be good. We'll find there. Okay. Uh, big key is okay. Big key means that we get to... this way. Actually, we'll just go from this route. There we go. Because we're going to be able to bunk here anyway and check this. Uh, this is going to be one of... There's the lamp. That This was the right call. Uh, that does put Aghanim in logic. Uh, item one is good. Also, just from a... Right, there's a key. Let's see how much we can continue. Let's get the mirror out, just, just to have to the ready. All right, not quite ideal. All right, that's okay. And actually, I think at this point we do we will end up take, intentionally doing a death warp. Uh, I do want to make sure that we get through first, though. All right. Now we take a death. That was intentional, though. Um, there is one item in the back. It will not be the big key. Or, sorry, it will not be the fire rod. 
Oh, right. Right, because that's where we death warped. Um, okay, let's next do... Yeah, we're still kind of in a weird situation. I think next we actually will go ahead and... Uh, maybe next we go ahead and do Aghanim. Uh, let's check what we got up here, though. Bumper ledge. Because, um, like, a fire rod... We're not going to get that. Right. Go ahead and get our mirror. There we go. I'll say we're the nice thing is we're able to do a bunch of these like ancillary checks. It's just. Maybe after this we do, we actually, yeah, after this we go do Aghanim. Aghanim or... Yeah, we got full magic, so... Yeah, um, I do want to get a little bit more health if I can. Um, not willing for like 30 second. I'm not really looking for a 30 second thing. It's just a thing. There we go. All right, let's get flutes to the ready. All right, so unfortunately that was a waste. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and just... Yeah, let's go to let's let's take Den Aghanim. All right, there we go. Just run, just run. Feels like we were just here like thirty-three minutes ago. All right. We do have Aghanim. Um, there we go. That was good. I didn't quite get our key dash. All right. There we go. That was just to get them off my butt. That's all right. All right. They are just very rude. Very rude guards. Dodge the, dodge the, I don't know. It looks like they've got like swords as their eyes, like sticking out of their eyes. It's very creepy, actually. I uh, didn't even get to see them fall. There we go. Wasn't sure where the key door was, so we'll just go ahead and... I'll tell you, if, if it was already going to be waiting for me to, to do that. Boom. All right. Good. All right. It was that was a way to do that. Walk. All right, let's get Ice Rod to the ready. There we go, and up. All right. 
So, with that... That will put us at Aghanim. Oh no, there's Zelda. That there is Zelda, and she's getting sent to the to the Dark World. One of the great things about uh, what they've done in a very recent version of the randomizer. Um, oh, put a number between zero and fifteen. How many blue balls do we get? Because some of those shots are reflectable, and others are not. Uh, Take six. Six reflectable shots to take down Aghanim. Uh, so that is number two. See how those scattered? That is not reflectable. Uh, two to one. Three to one. Three to one. Four to one. Uh, and Aghanim also attacks in patterns of five. First one is reflectable. Um, first one's always reflectable. Um, two through four may or may not 50-50. Um, and then five is always lightning. And that was two blue balls. And that was six hits. So now Aghanim sends us to the dark world. Um, as an important point, every time that we save and quit in the dark world, um, yeah, we'll pick that one up. Okay, um, so actually, yeah, let's go ahead and mirror here. Let's go g grab that cane of Samaria, and then let's do Ice Palace. Oh, hey, look, Zelda's right there. Um, and I think we also will go ahead and, uh, I think we'll also grab a potion as well while we're thinking about it. Um, because it can be very dangerous, um, in Ice Palace. We actually, the primary reason why we lost, um, in our last race was because of, of that. So we took a death. That's where we took a death. And there's the can of Samaria. All right, next, let's go ahead and do Ice Palace. Now this will not have the flippers in full disclosure. Oh. Low enthusiastic. Boom. There we go. Now, don't get hit. Boom. There we go. All right. Let's get Bombos to the ready. We never, uh, we didn't get the potion. We've got cape. We've got cape. Should be good. All right, <clears throat> about to say, we'll take the extra second to save ourselves the five minutes. I'm not even kidding. It's, it can be bad. Uh, we'll use Bombos again in here. As we do not have the right, uh, we don't have a one kill item. So that'll actually take a little bit less time. All right, and I do appreciate there is a magic refill right there. Um, kind of messed that up. Let's go ahead and hit the switch. I, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit the switch here. That's going to shock us. That's okay. There we go. That's what we wanted to get set up um, previously. There we go. 
And there we go. All right, big key. So that is still zero items. Still zero items so far. Item one. Take the damage. Item two. All right, that's item number two. Uh, we do not have the hook shot, so we're gonna have to set up the bomb. I guess you can't do a bomb and bombos at the same time. I just learned, literally just now. Item three. Well, there's item three. That makes things easier. That makes things a lot easier. Um, let's go up real quick just to grab this. Just so we can be absolutely sure. There we go. All right, let's get hammered to the ready. All right. There we go. All right, and down we go. Let's go ahead and take down Cold Stare. All right. Okay. Boom. We got it. Use the items that you got available to you. Use the items that you got available to you. And that is crystal number two. So next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, I think, yeah, I think next we got to do, oh, we can do, let me check something real quick. Okay, I didn't think we could uh, check. Let's check my area because we can do desert. Let's do, yeah, let's do this. We'll probably get that heart container. I mean, Cold Stare was the was the big kind of baddie last time, so not having to worry about Cold Stare this time is nice. Right, We're gonna check Meyer Shed. Not quite sure what the. There we go. Just mirror cancel right there. All right. Meyer's fully available, though. A little worrisome. All right. That's okay. All right. What do we got in here? Uh, yeah, we'll get that. We are going to pick up that potion. We're not going to hold on to the wall, though, you know, if we can help it. All right, so we're looking for bow, fire rod. All right, let's grab heart. Yeah, we need bow, hookshot, fire rod, and that's about, and flippers. That is our shopping list. Uh, two items in here. 
There's item one. Big key, so that's gonna imply the um, small key is gonna be in the big chest. I think we rush the back. Yeah, we'll go ahead and rush the back um, first. See if there's item number two. If there's item two on Lanmo, which is already gonna be required, then. Um, then we can kind of skip the, the right-hand side. Oh, didn't quite get it. Didn't quite get our key dash. That's all right. And we do have a red potion. Gotta keep that in mind. We're good on magic. go. There we go. We do have Ice Rod. Ice Rod is probably going to be our best bet. Uh, we got plenty of magic. Um, yeah, we got plenty of magic, so we'll use the Ice Rod. Okay, uh, that actually is all but one. There we go. Item two. We made the right call. We made the right call. That feels good. Um, and then after this, we can go ahead and do... Um, kind of avoiding pods so far. Which I don't really like because um, pod usually has a good number of items but I also don't really have a huge compelling reason to go that way yet um, I guess there's like sassies that's kind of our best that's kind of the main thing that we would be kind of going over there for there's still a lot of item density that way But that feels like a pretty large commit, because um, like if I go that way, I'm going to be doing front of the Easter, like, um, and I still haven't done Village of Outcast yet. I can get one item in. Yeah, let's do Village of Outcast. Um, and we can do Village of Outcasts into um, Smith Chain. So, like, there, there's a good amount that we can still do. And this is fully in logic um, as well, so we can go ahead and try to get the... Let's check the first four items, at least, in... Um, Yeah, let's check the first four. I don't think we, we I don't think we complete the dungeon yet. All right, book or sorry, not book. Burrito, not great. The more items we find up front, the 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 kind of better we we are set up. All right, there we go. Sneak down. We've not yet collected items. Item one. I 
I think we bail for now. It's not too bad to come back. It's not too bad to come back. Actually, let's just go ahead and do it. This might be a mistake. But that's why we race. We, we, there are three. I, there are three back here. Um, I don't think. I think Ped is dead at this point. Ped, ooh, Ped could be flippers. All right, so Ped's not quite dead. Oh, hey, we got our, we got the, we did the thing that we wanted to do. All right, that's okay. Because what we're going to do is use some magic. So that we can just dash up. All right. Get bombs to the ready. Alright. Um, item two. I think we gotta finish the dungeon. We'll finish the dungeon just in case it is a pendant in case heads required. Um because there are st still a number of outs. Um, because we've got fire. Ped is alive. It could be fire rod. It could be uh, flippers. Quite what we're looking for. All right, there we go. All right, last item is on blind. So yeah, we'll just finish up the dungeon. Unfortunately, it's been kind of a... Uh, it has not paid out for us, but... All right, we try things. Sometimes it even works. We're gonna go ahead and grab that heart just in case. Bad at nuclear physics, I got no fission. Get it? All right, and this is gonna be a pretty free fight. I'm just gonna hold on to the wall here. That's why it's free, because with the cape. All right, last item. This was a waste. That was a waste. All right, I guess. Smith chain. I think we got to do... We'll go ahead and do Smith Chain, but um, I think we got to go. Let's go Eastern Area. We'll do Eastern Area after. Where am I going? Didn't even get the Smith. I'll tell you, there, I haven't made like any of these checks. I haven't made anything in the eastern area. Um, and that's one of the things, like, because the entire world opened up, like, really early on. So, really was a lot of, like, okay, which way do we go? <laughs> so, yeah, I think.
And this kind of means that we do isolate. Oh, come on. All right, get hammer to the ready. Because yeah, unfortunately, because we did uh, we did one of the checks kind of earlier on. Uh, we check a uh, tablet, so that does make this a bit less efficient. But it is what it is. All it takes is for one of these to pay off. Not getting a shield. Not getting the shield. All right. You go back in there. All right. That was not it. That's okay. All right. I think we'd go ahead and do... We'll just go ahead and do the regular smith chain kind of strats. Uh, Would have been... Yeah. Because we don't have a hook shot, this is going to be a little slower. Because um, we're still going to walk it out here. We're still going to have to walk it out here because we do not have the... Um... Alright, there we go. About to say, drop the, drop the uh, chest safely out of uh, Portal Reach because uh, otherwise it'll go back into the hole. Um, oh, no, shoot. We messed up. We messed up. Okay. That's bad. We're, we, we, we skipped a check accident. We are... Come on. One, two. There we go. All right, after this, yeah, we go to five. We got to go to five. We got to we gotta pretend like what we just skipped doesn't exist. All right. All right. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually, this is a better way, though, to go through the, to go through this area because it's less scary. Um, I mean, sure, there's murder dactyls and all that, and they are plenty scary, don't get me wrong. There we go. There we go, and up a little bit so that we can just dash, just like that. All right, start by, let's see what we missed all along. Uh, this has been open for like the entire seed. If Bo is here, I feel bad. Hook shot, it's not required, but it makes things a lot easier. Okay. Um Pod maybe bow locked. Let's see how much we can And it's green pendant. Like it's green pendant pod. It is not necessarily complete completable. We can get everything out of it. Don't get me wrong. Um but it might not be actually required. All right, we're bow locked. Let's just skedaddle. All right, let's check how far we can get into Eastern. Bow could be, because yeah, like bow could be in here. Um, after this, I think after this we go up to. Um, all right, item one, 
Hopefully, it's three quick items. Hopefully, it's three quick items. Um. I think after this, we gotta check out Hookshot Cave. Uh, and then Mire. Alright, one item so far. One item still so far. All right, guaranteed item on Armas Knights. So not ideal. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and finish off uh, this part though. After this, I think Hookshot Cave. Yeah, Hookshot Cave, then Meyer. All right, but there is one item here. This is this is in logic. Whatever this item is. All right. But no bow, so we gotta go. Could do my actually we could we could touch turtle rock um so you know that's scary there we go we're very stunning all right so we're still what we're we are still uh, flippers, bow, and fire rod uh, from go mode. We did get the we did get the required hook shot. Yeah, maybe we will we will at least know quickly um, how much. Um, we're going to be pretty quickly kicked out, um, potentially from Turtle Rock, so. Come on. There we go. Alright, good. We got the right, uh, medallion there. We're going to check, uh, we are going to check Hookshot Cave first. Uh, however... Because if that's where the fire rod is, then we can complete... Then we're good. We can complete Turtle Rock. There we go. Item one. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. It's the scent cart. And that's not it. Okay. So it was not under the doormat. Okay. All right. Let's see how quickly we get kicked out. Uh, we do need the. F we need to go left to start. Uh, if it's not a key, we get kicked out. It is at least very easy, like, uh, if you don't have the fire rod, it's, the logic's pretty simple. We can, can continue. We can continue on in the dungeon. All right, yeah, we want to give the, we do want to give the buzz, 
beetle thing, uh, a little bit of a birth. There we go. Oh wait, no, hold on. There we go. We can continue. Um, I think we gotta do lava chest. I think lava chest is a must. Um, not really a whole lot we can go mode in here. Um, just kind of as a forewarning. Not ideal. Well, get back here. Okay, let's just... That's okay. That's okay. All right, so that was required. There we go. Let's continue. Um, this isn't going to give us a huge number of extra techs. Actually, you know what? We're going to use Bombos. Bombos is, I think, actually going to be quicker. There we go. Get that little bit of magic back. There we go. That was weird. All right, off to the side. There we go. All right, Mimic Cave, not the answer. All right. I think we can go to... I don't think there's too much more we can go. Um, we are going to have to remember to mirror, however. All right, let's see. I think, I think we can do... Actually, this sort of implies... I mean, again, we're not going to be able to complete it. But we're still in logic. Okay. That's all we can do. All right. So we got... All right. Next up is... Actually, I feel bad about abandoning that one spot. Let's let's go back and check. Uh, we also have not yet done Zora area, um, but Zora area, it, Zora is in logic. Um, All right. All right. 
Stumpy, what did I leave on you? What did I... Gosh damn it. Okay, let's beat... Let's go back and beat Eastern. That's... That's a grievous mistake. Uh, that puts us... Uh, we just need Fire Rod and... Yeah, that just means Fire Rod and Ice Rod. That's... That's really bad. That's really bad. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom through. Uh, we do have one item on Armos Knights. So that's still... That is still a possibility. Alright, there we go. go. Alright. So yeah, I, I kind of see where we could have gone, like, to to save time. Um, I see where we could have saved some time. Got the magic. Yeah, we're just going to finish this dungeon. Weird thing, though, again, is we are still locked out of the, the, well, okay, we're locked out of three dungeon, three required dungeons still. All right, there we go, get Swordsman to the ready. I'm uh, going to need a couple more arrows. All right, let's beat let's beat Armus Knights. Perfect. Ah, too slow. Kind of lost the pattern. All right. All right. Next up, um. Nothing, that's nothing, that's nothing. Uh, next up, I think we go ahead and do... Let's go to Meyer. I don't like it. Let's do it. We are looking for two items. We are looking for the Fire Rod. Yeah, we are looking for the fire rod. We are looking for the flippers. Once we get those two items, we will be able to complete the game. Um, those are the remaining items that are required uh, for the game. We are at about the one hour, 15 uh, minute, 30 minute mark. Um, so as a reminder, please make sure to follow uh, both this channel, Sword Surf and Traces, if you are a fan of um, time delayed races. Um... Well, actually, that went pretty nicely. All right. There are two items in Meyer. Um, after this, I think we go to Pod. I think we got to do Pod. Or Catfish into Pod and... It, yeah, Catfish into Pod and... Um, that's that, um, Zora. That's not anything. 
All right, we do have fire source at least, so we are able to complete. We are able to complete mire if we so choose. I don't know. Do we do we risk? Do we say that my, that uh, pedestal is the answer? That feels like a very risky gamble um, at this point. We are still two items from go. Um, it's going to be pretty likely, though, that uh, we're, we are going to be able to go mode swamp. All right. Boom. Boom. There we go. Still no items. All right, I'm not too worried about those five arrows. Oh, come on. There we go. Got it in time. Cool. Yep, no idea how this race is going, by the way. Um, this is a... This is a... Um... Now, if you use the link kind of uh, next to me right there... Um, that is going to be uh, a multi-stream, so you can watch both of our progress. Um, you can watch us both going through the seat at the exact same time. Item one. We don't have the big key yet, right? Yeah, we do not have the big key, so uh, we know where the... Then we actually know exactly where the big key is at this point. All right. So down. This is the one we need to take. Up and up this door. Here's the big key. Check the big chest. I will say, nice thing is... Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. Item two. I think we gotta play for ped. I really don't like this. We don't have a whole lot of options remaining. I don't think we have a whole lot of options remaining. Um, just with some of the misses that we that we did make. There we go. We can't set up Spooky anyway because we don't have the Fire Rod. That's okay. But we don't have a whole lot of arrows. That's going to be... Uh, that's actually going to be important. That's going to be critical. Because um, that means we are going to have to use... Um, we are going to have to use... Um, we'll start... And actually, we're going to start by throwing bombs. Alright, I was seeing if they would drop anything. Um, Alright. Let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, let's actually...
All right, that was sort of luck. All right. And down, okay. I guess I got all the items. Huh. All right, so next up, uh... Next up, Zora. No, I think next up we gotta do Pod. Like next up we really, we realistically have to finish Pod. Um, we're gonna put Zora area as the last location, just because there's unfortunately a lot over that area. That is uh, out of logic. And I'm trying to stay in logic a little bit better this particular seed, uh, for better or for worse. So we do have to go this way. Oh, hold on. We gotta... We gotta do some scrounging. We... There are... Okay, there are arrows available. Okay, we're fine. We know where arrows are. We just don't have any. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take care of the... Right. They're good. Boom. Okay, just a heart. Okay. Uh, we got bombs still. There's a key. Yeah, because this is now completable. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and bonk from there. I really don't like the way the seed is kind of taking us. That's a lot of keys. Hookshot to the ready. All right, we got to keep in mind that we haven't used a key at the front yet. That's why we have so many keys, by the way. I think this is a little bit, this might end up being a little bit quicker uh, for kind of getting over to this area. All right, we got three keys. Um, that's gonna, yeah, I think this is probably gonna be the answer. Oh, we gotta be a little cautious here. Down we go. All right. Yeah, bombs to the ready. We are really low on resources. Whoops. There's the big key. Uh, if there is a small key down here, we check harmless hallway. Otherwise, we skip. All right, so we check Harmless Hallway. There's gonna be something over there. There's flippers. All right, so that is water checks. That is uh, swamp in play. All right, 
nothing there. Okay, but that's the that was the big thing right there. That was um, those flippers in the back of Pod. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so everything else is going to be an item. I remember we we did this in the dark last seed. Not really a good item. All right, and then we got here. That's not the fire rod. Let's go do swamp. Actually, let's check something real quick. It's a very quick check. But we actually skipped a check that we sort of want to make. Ugh. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll we will go ahead and grab that on our way. To, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna do swamp first because if we can get into go mode from swamp, we're golden. Uh, we are pretty deep into the seed. Uh, but yeah, if you're um, yeah, if you're kind of following along or just watching along, uh, please be sure to you know, uh, thank you. Um, very much appreciate it. You know, hope this has been entertaining or at least uh, an experience. At least it's been an experience. I think is the uh, it's it's a uh, not exactly the best selling point, but it is a it is a selling point. All right, there we go. Swamp Palace is a crystal. We are just looking for a fire rod. It'd be great if we could find a sword, too. Um, me? Uh, I think we do left side swamp, because Master Sword Silverless does not sound like uh, good times. All right. All right, and here is the only chest. If you don't have the hammer... Uh, this is a chest that you can get. This is the only chest. I've seen it where that was the, like the hammer. It was, uh, it was an experience. I didn't get the, I didn't get, I didn't get that quite right. That's okay. All right, let's get hookshot. We've cleared almost the entirety of the game, by the way. Um, still don't know what our stun prize is. That might be good info, especially, like, arrow-wise. But we'll skip it for now. All right. All right, let's do, we're gonna do, we're gonna commit to left side swamp. We are, we're one item from go mode, but it, it's, it's tough because feasibly we're actually like, I think to be comfortable, I'd like to get another sword, um, either another sword or, um, yeah, that ain't, that ain't it. Yeah, let's do left side swamp. This is a risk. Um, good news is we do have King Samaria, so we've got a pretty easy diver down here. And we've got bombs. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place the bomb right there. And while it's blowing up, we're going to walk down. No, didn't quite get it. There we go. Wedge ourselves inside the railing there. And the game the way the game works is if you're not jumping in from that 
particular staircase, uh, the game thinks that you're allowed to, basically. That's the only place where it's actually checking if there's water. That's the only place in this dungeon where it's checking if you're if you're going from water. So, that's kind of cool. Um, all right. But we continue on. A little bit of a looping there. But by looping uh, kind of in that pattern, that actually lets us avoid. All right. There was at least an item. It's not a good item. It is very much not a good item. But it was at least one item, two items. So we would have been funneled back into here just to check. Okay. Maybe maybe not dash straight on into the uh, the fire snake there. All right, no big key. The big key could be in the uh, big key chest. It is possible. Yeah, we don't have the. All right. Oh, right, because we got early map compass. So. Hey, we got arrows finally. we go wedge ourselves in pick up so and there's silvers okay uh silvers are good silvers will mean a much nicer uh ganon all right big key i think we come back in uh to check that it's not too it's not too slow and we're gonna have to Um, I think our other option that we would have would be our other option. Oh, yeah. We can also try to William Tell uh, Argus, actually, here. All right, good. We got the... Yep. All right. Okay, uh, not bad. Oh, come on. Okay, not quite. Alright, there we go. Now let's go ahead and William tell this Argus. Boom. All right, we are going to pick up the shovel along the way. Bomb's not great, but they are what they are. Um, all right, what's going to be my route? Okay, here I think is going to be my route. Uh, we're going to come from up here. The only good news with this is, like, because this is going to be a pretty buried fire rod. And on one hand, it's the last location. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, overall, we'll, we'll just see how it plays out. Start with you. Okay, maybe this wasn't the right option. I think I made this route a little bit more convoluted. We're in go mode. All right, so let's finish up Skull Woods. Hmm, so that actually... That was available a lot earlier in Logic, which is a little scary to think about. Uh, let's get some, let's get our potions on. Um, Master Sword. Okay. Okay, uh, that's doable. So that is go mode. We're gonna be probably finishing up. It, we still have 
a little bit to go. Um, 10 minutes, 15. Yeah, we're probably, we're probably gonna finish around the two hour mark. Um, actually, probably a little bit over the two hour, 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 uh, excuse me, uh, the two hour mark. Um, it's what it is. I would love to find, uh, I really would love to find, um, we didn't fall into the hole. I would love to find another sword, don't get me wrong, but it's not worth it at this point. Uh, I have, again, I have no idea where my opponent is. Um, no idea where my opponent is, so we're going to go ahead and assume, like, they are in the same room. They are also in go mode. Actually, maybe maybe uh, more like they are a room ahead of me. Just from a... Oh, we got that actually very smoothly. I wanted to avoid that anyway, and it still happened. Oh, well. All right, cool. We escaped the thing. Get the arrows. <laughs> Get the free arrows. Okay, good. There's the wall master. Wall master sends you back to start. We don't want the wall master. Wall master is bad. All right, we have one sword swing we can do. All right, that counted. And boom. As long as you hit the moth against that block there. All right, that was item number two, by the way. All right, on to Turtle Rock. On to Turtle Rock. All right, we are not going to check what's on pedestal. Okay, we gotta, we gotta roll. Um, all right, still going. And now we are still, we are still in this race, I think. All right. All right, so yeah, we got. All right, we got two red potions and a blue. So we should be able to. If we're going into Ganon with full magic, I'm just I'm just planning ahead. Um, all right, we gotta go to the next screen. go. Alright, we just hit the 100 minute mark. Let's see what we get. Alright, and yeah, the, the more arrows that we collect along the way, uh, we are going to have to pick up a key. We are going to have to go to the left side. Uh, we do need a key. Um, there's at least one key over here. And that was tough, because if we had broken logic, we actually would have had that fire rod way earlier. Um, that would have saved us a, a lot of um, consternation. But... He... I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take the heart. I'll take the heart. There we go. 
All right, we've we've we have full cleared. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to check Laser Bridge. Um, and I think we check Laser Bridge for a sword as well, just from a a sword. It, it it's an extra couple seconds that will save at least a minute against Ganon. So that's a gamble I'm I'm very willing to take. And it's unfortunate because, you know, getting towards the, the one hour, 42 minute mark, um, like, depending on the, the race, the racer, the route, like, we'll see. Oh, fire rod. Fire rod. <laughs> we can do that. Uh, we did already get the chest. No, wait. Not what I wanted to do. Actually, I have no idea. Let's see. No arrows. Okay. That can count for, uh, okay. All right, into Turtle Rock we go. Uh, we're not gonna take the, we don't need to worry about the pit stop. All right, we do have, uh, we're gonna use Canaburna. It does use a little bit less magic. We do need to check Laser Bridge. Um, we're also gonna take Safety Door, unless we get a sword. Ew. All right, let's actually grab that safety door now. All right, safety door. Sure, we'll go with that. Good news is we're gonna have magic powder uh, but we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble because the, um, we just have, actually, no, we just have to be judicious, um, about our magic shots. Uh, we are going to get the refill here. All right, it's. All right, we're going to start with the fire head. All right. The big thing is for the fire head, or the ice head rather, to not... Okay, um, let's just go ahead and burn that. There we go. Okay, I've got a one, two, three, four, five. And down. We did it. We did a Master Sword. Fortunately, we had to have magic. Otherwise, that would have been a lot closer. Um, so, 10 minutes in the future. Put in a, put in a number between 1 and 22. 
or I guess right now put in a number between 1 and 22. I'll check it in like tw in 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes. Basically, uh, if you guess it right, I give you a sub. So, or if I give you a sub to the Sorcerer Finch uh, channel, to, to clarify. Because this channel is not uh, an affiliate, nor does it need to be, honestly. Didn't need to dash. Did not need to dash there. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. <clears throat> Start with hope. I do need to do a, a music pack uh, for Link, uh, Link to the Past. All right. Item one is a map. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the left side. It's like, fine, be that way. <laughs> All right, item three is five bucks. I'm gonna be really curious where the um, where the other swords are if they're not here. Did you find swords in? All right, we are gonna just use ether um, to clear this out as well. Nothing in there. All right, ether medallion. Wonderful uh, little thing. It's a very quick animation and. And it's done. Oh, let's let's not fall off. Let's not fall off, shall we? I'll take armor. I'm good with armor, especially again uh, with. All right, let's see if we can get this. Okay, whatever. There we go. Bonk. Running there doesn't actually really do too much for us. We are going to have to keep an eye on uh, arrows, though, because if we have to go through to Armas Knights, that's six arrows, assuming we don't miss. Uh, we are going to need... Yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to have to scrounge, scrounge up some... And there's the big key. Okay, by scrounge up... Let me check Bob's chest. Let me check Bob's chest just real quick. It's it's quick. And it's arrows. That's actually the bigger thing. We're going to be able to pick up arrows along the way. Because uh, we are also, at the very least, going to need arrows for... Oh, actually, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. One of the two remaining swords was in GT Big Chest. Oh my god. That is... That's a difference maker. That's a difference maker. All right, let's go ahead and set up over here. There we go. All right. And run. There we 
we go. All right, we are, we are, we are good. We are good. Now, now we are in like, we're very comfortable. Now we're very comfortable. Um, we're not gonna worry about the gold sword. Okay, I say we're very comfortable, and then, like, that happens. Okay, full disclosure, uh... Actually, they're getting a little bit better. Get back over here. We'll go ahead and use... Yeah, we'll use Fire Rod. That's okay. Don't waste Fire Rod shots. Alright, I think... Alright, we'll... I was about to say, nope. Get off of the mirror. Get off of the mirror. No matter what, just off of the mirror. All right, pick up magic. Pick up all the things. But yeah, we took off by pit by by checking that, which happened to be the the correct chest. That literally saved like two minutes, at least, off of the Ganon fight. Um, I'm not even kidding. Uh, I think we gotta get the magic here. There we go. Climb. We're gonna finish right around the two hour mark. Probably a little bit before two hours. Oh. we go. Get the bug net. Perfect time. Not exactly perfect timing. Um. Come on. There we go. That was way better than the first Moldorm. All right, let's go ahead and finish the seed strong. We've got about, we're at the 155 mark. All right, perfect, perfect through that room. All right, next up is some agonometry. Uh, so named because we get to play with angles. All right, we get a double. Uh, it's again six hits. All right, two, three. All right, uh, that's five. All right, and that is Aghanim down. Here comes Ganon. Here comes Ganon. <sighs> All right, we got this. This is like the, the I can't really say calm before the storm, um, but here we go. Do you think you're, you're so smart? I bet you didn't know you can't hum while holding your nose closed. I didn't. Not going to get the one-on-one. 
set up for... Okay, there we go. Not great. I'm just apparently saving all my magic. Alright, that's it. Phase three. Alright. Now... We would both be getting the same teleport pattern uh, for the Ganon fight. So actually, that's a lot of... Alright, uh, that's actually going to be pretty decent. And that's actually perfect. Down. Ganon down. We just have to walk across the bridge and we will be done with this seed that we routed really poorly. We routed this pretty poorly. Uh, we got a couple close to last locations, um, but we walked through the door and we have finished the seed. We took one death that was intentional, 33 bonks, collection rate of 177 of 216 for first place. Uh, we have defeated a rabbit wombat who unfortunately did forfeit uh, a little bit earlier in the race. Um, so yeah. So gonna, I, I do want to kind of uh, see what. All right. Yeah, I'll, ch I'll, 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 I'll catch up with them to see kind of what was going on. Um, I hope it wasn't like internet issues or or something like that. Um. Well, let's actually go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off background input real quick. Mm. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, it's not the... It wasn't the... the. <clears throat> so, yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately, my opponent's uh, emulator crashed. And... They were go mode fire rod, yeah. I'm glad we didn't go to Zora at least. So yeah, um was in swamp. Yeah, they would have found that. 
Yeah, they would have found Silvers. And the Vampire Skewer. So, if we had completed Pod, um, we would have just gotten 10 arrows. Still missing bow. So, oh, after last locating lamp and flippers, then crashing and losing two plus dungeons of progression. Ah. Uh. on everything but fire rod and flippers pretty quick. You rolling us a hammer for the start. So they scoured the overworld then pod. For for a couple like we double dipped, we double dipped pod that we didn't even finish, um, and then double dipped um, Eastern. Double dipping Eastern was probably the bigger the bigger uh, time sink. Um. Restriction is it can't be when we've done this round. What? Okay, yeah. We do one of the required. which mode we'd be playing. So anyway, uh, 5 minutes, 40 seconds for the first sword, uh, 23 and a half minutes for the boots, uh, flute was 146, mirror was 1024, really early, 10, 10 kills with the master sword, 2 with the tempered sword, we took a little over 1,000 damage, um, used a lot of magic, 33 bonks, 2 saving quits, 1 death, um, All right, and we are going have a great rest of the evening. See you tomorrow. All right, so yeah, we are going to be next racing again uh, tomorrow on this channel, uh, Wednesday. That is Wednesday. Um, Wednesday at eight ten p.m. is when the race will kick off. We will actually start at eight. There's